Dan Lyman with Infowars.com coming to you from day three of Bilderberg in Turin, Italy. Again, we are out in front of the NH Lingotto Hotel where the event is taking place. And I'm here with independent journalist Josh Friedman, who has done a few Bilderbergs in his time. And he's had a, uh, an interesting journey here this week. So we're going to hear a little bit about that. How are you doing today, Josh? I'm doing pretty well now. I had a bit of a run in with some Italian police early in the morning on Thursday before the conference got started. So it was about 4 a.m., a little before 4 a.m. And I was lying in bed in my one room studio apartment about five minutes away from the venue right here. And I heard all this noise coming up the stairwell. And at first I thought maybe it's someone who's a late check in. Maybe there are some drunks and then the noise got really loud. And then there's boom, the door goes flying open and about five, give or take, Italian police officers burst right through the door as I'm lying in bed. They flick on the light switch, they surround me, at least one was pointing a gun at me, and they immediately start screaming things out. I didn't understand what was going on. There was some commotion for a few seconds, and they demand that I tell them my name, and I'm asking them what's going on, what is happening here. I, eventually, I tell them my name, they demand my passport or some sort of document and as they're demanding it one guy looks down at the table and sees my u.s passport is sitting there he grabs it he opens it up another guy shows me as i'm still in the bed shows me a little photo of some man who they say was a suspect and they say that they had information that this suspect that they was they, they were looking for was in my apartment and after about five or ten minutes they decide that they're gonna leave and they apologize briefly and they take off and then about 30 minutes later actually right after i uploaded a youtube video saying what was happening i got a couple knocks on the door this time they didn't no one burst right through there was two of the officers were back and they actually brought my landlord and this time again they apologized, although this time they actually asked me some questions. Who am I? What am I doing here? I said that I am a journalist. I'm here to cover the Bilderberg Conference. That in the past, I know there's been some harassment of journalists attempting to cover the conference. I asked them, is there any relation here? They said no. I believe one of them had a smirk on his face at some point. It might have been when he was saying no to that question about there being any relation. It might have been something else. It was a pretty quick interaction and then they left after telling me that they found the suspect and they pointed off somewhere nearby they they weren't saying exactly where later in the day I got a text message from my landlord saying that the police were looking for a terrorist and they caught the terrorist at some nearby location and that's about all the information that I have been given about the incident. That sounds like a terrifying way to wake up in the morning. Uh, and you had mentioned that there may have been another journalist who went through something similar. Were you able to corroborate that? Did yes, you hear any more? So, so I actually spoke at length with him yesterday, not face to face, but over the phone. And this is a an independent journalist and I believe radio host from Poland. And we had about a 30 minute phone conversation lately. Uh, yesterday and what he said is that the police arrived at his apartment just about the same time about 4 a.m. on Thursday and it wasn't it wasn't quite the same setting with them bursting through the door and showing a gun or two at him but he ended up having a long drawn-out process what he told me is that several officers arrived at his place and then there were more officers waiting in the street below and they brought him to the police station and it turned into an eight hour ordeal and he was questioned and interrogated and searched and it went on for hours and he was saying that it scared him and intimidated him so much that yesterday he left or maybe it was even on Thursday anyway he's out of here he he left Turin he headed for I'm not gonna say exactly where but he he headed for another city and then flew out of Italy. So he was extremely intimidated and he was telling me about possible harassment of his family on, on top of what he was dealing with here. It was, it was very descriptive. I, I haven't corroborated this fully, but it was very descriptive and it seems to be in line with other things that are happening here. There are just so many journalists who are 
getting detained frequently or they're getting harassed when they try to film. I mean, different circumstances. With me, it was short and fast and pretty extravagant and quite intimidating. But there seems to be a, a pattern here, which is not too different from various Bilderbergs in the past of journalists facing all kinds of harassment. Yeah, you've done a few of these. Uh, have you experienced anything like that in the past yourself? Would this be the first year? And then it seems like the, if the journalists who do this year in and year out, they end up on some sort of list. The, the, you know, the authorities do keep an eye on them. Do you think that that's what's happened to you? I can't tell you for sure. I, I haven't gotten the harassment in the past. Definitely nothing like putting a, a gun in my face. I've I've spoken at length with various journalists who have. I've heard their stories repeatedly, and I've witnessed some of it, particularly in Dresden a couple years ago, where I think there are a lot of comparisons being drawn right now between the Bilderberg here and the Bilderberg in Dresden, because in both cases, there's been a pretty heavy-handed police presence. But this is definitely the first experience I've had of this nature. Now, I could speculate and I don't really know for sure. I mean, there is a chance that this was merely an accident and they were actually searching for some suspect and had some wrong information. But based on all of the events that have followed, it's it seems highly questionable whether that would actually be the case. But would they be interested in me? I don't know. This year, what, I mean, what's been different about my coverage this year as in the past is that I really got on this early, particularly reporting on what was back then the suspected date and location of the conference because I'm I'm based in Bulgaria and the Balkans is basically my my hub my region and the Serbian government put out a press release back in the end of January that was probably an accident and leaked the location and date of the meeting and I was covering that back then and I briefly had a, an encounter with the Serbian prime minister last month at an EU event and I recorded her saying that the conference was good, indeed going to be here in Turin in June so and I arrived early uh, I was filming the the complex before they shut it down I have no idea whether this is any reason that I might be targeted it could be maybe not I don't know but it's definitely very prevalent here in terms of journalists facing a whole variety of types of harassment very interesting. There have been kind of a dichotomy between what journalists have experienced here this year. Uh, some of us have not had too many issues. Per perhaps it's because it's my first year. Definitely not Josh's first year. But uh, in closing, how would you compare this year's Bilderberg, just the agenda, uh, the setting, and you know, nothing to do with the, with the treatment so far, but just uh, the other aspects of Bilderberg, how would you compare it with previous years for yourself? Well, I'd say that this year, actually, the setting really is a big deal. I mean, it really stands out. We're in, as you've already reported on, we're, we're in, the, I mean, the venue is the former Fiat factory. There's a Fiat headquarters right here. Fiat through John Elkin is very close knit with the Bilderberg group being on the steering committee and so on. The, the Italian police presence is very heavy, but what's going on the inside? I don't know exactly. And it, it really is, it's similar. It seems to be building on the past few years. I, Looking back to Dresden in 2016, that Bilderberg took place right before the Brexit vote. And it was also in the middle of the Trump campaign. So looking back to 2016 until now, there, there's been this huge clash between nationalism and globalism or between populism and they're calling it in globalism. And the, there have been an, a whole string of key elections and arguably the Bilderbergers lost the first two, the big ones, Brexit and Trump. But then they had a bounce back year in, in 2017 with uh, the, the Dutch, French and German elections all basically going in the direction of uh, globalism. And now there's the, the Italian election and the subsequent formation of the government which has not gone their way. And it seems like there's just this ongoing trend now of issues having to do with trade, migration, the, the future of the EU and the international order, the transatlantic union. So this seems to be the core backdrop ideologically and geopolitically to the conference. But ultimately, I'm not on the inside. I don't know what's going on. And most people here just seem to be most interested or intrigued by the fact that the Vatican is represented here. 
It's definitely uh, definitely interesting that the Vatican is here this year. I believe it's for the first year ever. Uh, I guess we're going to find out in the coming year what the agenda was laid out here uh, by the way that they roll it out through the different media outlets and the government policies and military action that is going to be coming for the for the year between now and the next Bilderberg. So we'll see what happens. But I'll be here for the rest of the weekend. And we thank you, Josh, for your time. Dan Lyman from Turin, Italy and Bilderberg 2018.